It's not one of yours. No. She's not. Mary, I'm worried about you. Seriously, you can't remember anything. What did they tell you that it was? Is it the thing that soldiers get post-traumatic? No, it's not. It? AJ, stop it. Just stop. Well, then what? Please. I don't want to talk. Let's just not talk. Can you just tell me what they told you it was? It's depression, isn't it? Look, I've been looking all this stuff up on anxiety and depression. Yes, I'm depressed. Who isn't? I have anxiety. Who doesn't? It's not what Can you talk about what happened to you? I don't know what happened. I can't say what I don't know. Look, I miss you so much. I miss you even when I'm with you. I, I'm just, I'm trying to understand. What do you know, Mary? I lost. I lost my soul. Birds. Those amazing creatures that herald the morning with joyful songs, who take to flight in groups, or flit about the trees showing off their plumage, who nest, feed their young, and come back the next season to nest in the same tree, have been the source of bad omens for as long as anyone can remember. It was said that if a bird came into your home, circled a room, and then flew out an open window, someone in the dwelling was about to die. Why birds represented such portents of despair, I never knew. Maybe seeing them soar in the air, like a soul, untethered, was enough for man to believe that they were mystical. C.S. Lewis wrote, You do not have a soul. You are a soul. You have a body. So what happens when that soul decides to release itself from its body, escaping like a bird out a window? Hey! Hey! Sophia have backwards dinner yet? Cupcake then breakfast. Mm. Yeah. Any left for dad? Only if you like your cupcakes to look like fish. <laughs> 
Well, I don't really mind if they look like fish as long as they still taste like cupcakes. <laughs> Hey, these look great. You gonna put these on your block? Of course. Here. Let's see. Mm. Okay, so it's not the healthiest thing to feed your kid before dinner, but at least I snuck an extra egg in the cupcake and pancake batter. Right there, smart move. Mm. Mm. Oh, you Ooh. smell like cigars and garlic. It's all over you. We got the new client. Every time that happens, everyone brings out the cubes. The place is going to smell like that for a week. Sorry. You still hungry for dinner? Oh, yeah. Just, um, <clears throat> what you have in mind? Well, I was thinking if you could wait 20 minutes for Sophia to go to bed. We could have a romantic dinner. Mm -hmm. I, I could wait. grill up those gorgeous fillets I got at the butcher shop. Mm -hmm. I've got some potatoes, I could roast them. Mm -hmm. Or even better, I could make a kicked up mash. Mm -hmm. Mary is home. I hear her, I hear her. Okay, admittedly, I do like it when all my babies are home. I know, my <laughs> <laughs> Listen, wasn't she supposed to go after practice with that dance mom? Da, 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 you know, and mm -hmm. just stay in that pizza. Like, I did get a ride from t -t -t Talk Dancer, also known as Haley. No pizza tonight because everyone had plans, and since I just danced my butt off, I'm starving. What's for dinner? No. No, please don't make me pancakes. I'm not <laughs> six years old. Did I just break up a romantic moment? No. Yes. 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 <laughs> How was your day? Spring break starts today, which makes it a great day. Are we going to Lake for vacation? That's the plan. Butcher's hook. You know, I'm cheesed off. me! if you don't like me grazing, order yourself a new daughter. I did me best. You're talking a load of cod swallop. Here you are, asking for some grub when you come home with a card with a load of C's on it. You are a smart girl. When are we going to see evidence of it on your report card? You have been faffing around. That's just naff. <laughs> you know what, Flaff? Naff, both of you. Mary, you're more than smart. Come on. You're very well read. You're very talented. Dad, school's a joke. The amount of hours I'm supposed to spend doing homework when I already know the subject matter, I mean, it's just a stupid waste of time. I'd rather be dancing. Ooh, or bird watching dad. Look, yeah, you know what? Let me tell you something, right? Now. These grades next semester have got to get to B's. You understand me? And let me tell you, Juilliard does not take C's. And that is a D. Dad, that was geometry. D geometry? Seriously? Yeah, you better really I'm gonna get not you. I am not. Come here. Get out, little. Snow is boring. That's crazy. Every little girl likes Snow White. I told you, I want to read Peter Pan. He doesn't have to wait for someone to rescue him, and he carries a sword, and he flies. You know, I can see why all that would impress you. Mary, is your friend Jocelyn coming over to take care of the cat and the birds? Yep. She's not gonna smoke or anything in the house, is she? Mom, just because she has piercings and sometimes her hair is blue does not make her a pothead. In fact, she gets all A's. What's a pothead? Someone who wears a pot on their head. Duh. That's stupid. I would rather wear a crown or horns or something. You're right. She is a sweetheart. I take it back. It's a mom thing. By the way, don't bother bringing your bathing suit. The lake's too cold. I already packed one. A bikini. An itsy bitsy cobalt blue bikini. <laughs> Just because it's too cold for you, time worn people, does not mean I am not going swimming. I want to go swimming too. Do you think AJ's going to know I'm at the lake? How would he know unless you call him and tell him that you're coming? Do you want him to know that we'll be there? Meh. He's just a good friend. And he's a dork. A very nice dork. From a very nice family who's grown up with you your whole life and has grown like six inches in the last year. But still, do not bring your bathing suit. Yeah, no bikini! Jesus, bikini. It's April! So, Daddy Lion, 
protective mesh. Listen, you said the lake is cold in April, right? Mm -hmm. It is cold, so. Are you just gonna stand there and not hand me a towel, Miss Elise, or are just gonna stand there and check me out? Which one is it? I'm just gonna stand here and I'm gonna check you out. Really? How are you? Come here, give me Let's a hug. Let's not get too close. Coming down with something. I'm sorry to hear that. You should see a doctor. Uh, those geezers don't know anything. It's a, it's a virus or it isn't. Uh, either it runs its course or it doesn't. Well, I worry about you out here all by yourself. You know, I called you a few times since we talked in January. That's nice. And all these houses you take care of and all that work. You know, you don't have to help me with the house, Martin. I can send Victor. <laughs> you know, let's face it, the guy could spend a little bit more time in jeans and less time in a suit. <laughs> and, you know, well... I'm not a spring chicken anymore, huh? Sweetie, none of us are. Uh, I've known you since you were two years old, Miss C. You're as lovely as ever. And if you tell me that you're getting old, I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> so, how's my goddaughter? Mary is 15. What else is there to say? She's a good kid. You know, her, her grades are atrocious, though. <laughs> She's still dancing. She's got her birds, piano, singing. And then there's boys. Yeah, and that uh, one boy in particular? Yeah, she denies that. I don't think he would. <laughs> Keep a good eye on her, Gina. She's a, a, a bright soul. That she is. You know, we had a really rough New England winter. You heard about the roof leak in January. Yes, thank you so much for calling me. I, I can't even imagine how much damage would have been done if it hadn't been fixed right away. Well. You know, before she died and left me the house, my mom said, let that Marty help you. He's the kindest man to walk the face of the earth. <laughs> I like that. Walk the earth. <laughs> she hasn't uh, shared that with me. <laughs> Six year old wants to play with a mangy straight cat. <laughs> hey. Hey, Vac. It's been a while, huh? Yeah. I haven't actually seen you since October 5th, last year. Right. I knew that off the top of my head, too. So my mom said she saw you back in January when she was checking on the house? Oh, right. I was lugging in firewood, and she offered to help, which was weird. <laughs> yeah, my mom's a little gung-ho like Sophia. <laughs> she thinks just because she's like a brown belt in karate that she's some kind of like super chick or super mom. She told me you grew like six inches. It's the heels. Right. I heard about that. I mean, honestly, I think it's sexy when a dude is in touch with his product side. You still have the birds? McFly, Tweeter, and Woodstock are very well, thank you. Excellent. How's the dancing? Good. My instructor thinks I'm good enough for Juilliard. Like, maybe. Uh, but my dad thinks my grades are crap and should better reflect my intelligence. Well, we all know there's a whole bunch of geniuses like Albert Einstein who failed out of school with crap grades. Actually, you know, that's a fallacy. By the age of 12, Einstein was studying calculus. Now, Isaac Newton, who was like a complete genius when it came to math, never did well in school. That is until he went to Cambridge. I think. Your father's right. You get better grades. <laughs> so if that doesn't work out, I don't know. I'll probably just do something with animals. But that is a ways off. So, green being giant, what do you want to do with your life? I don't want to sell anything, buy anything, or process anything as a career. I don't want to sell anything, bought or process, or buy anything, sold or process, or process anything, sold, bought or process, or repair anything, sold, bought or process. I just want to hang with you. <laughs> wow. Now we're coding movie lines. Impressive. You know, when we were kids, you wanted to be an astronaut. I remember this because you wore that weird thing on your head and every rock and old box was a rocket ship. It still is my goal. And now I have my Prada heels to go with my aluminum foil helmet because I like to <laughs> accessorize like that. You're or I could be a dancer like you. <laughs> You're 
you're really strange. And yet you chose to hang out with me. <laughs> you should go into the restaurant business. You can cook like my mom. I mean, I can't even make spaghetti, but you rock. My dad wants me to stay local, maybe run one of his restaurants. And yet I can't really say that that's what jazzes me. No idea what I want to do. Except maybe hang around you more. <laughs> you know he'll screw up your feet for dancing. How are you going to follow me to Juilliard if you keep pulling that crap? <laughs> Text, she calls, she never ever does this. Okay, if, if you just would go out and look for her, that's all. And I told you, sir, we can't get much more help until it's daytime. You sure she's not with this DJ? His name is AJ. Okay, he's with his parents who live here on the lake. I know where he is! Mommy, is Mary gone? I dreamed that she was eaten up by an old man who lived deep down in the ground. Jesus, Mary. <laughs> Mary, where were you? Let me look at you. Come here. Are you here. all right? Look at me. Are you okay? Ma'am, ma'am, do you want to have us talk to her? We can take no. her to... Mary, honey. Are you okay? What happened to you? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? 54 to control. I don't remember. Those marks on our Disregard hands that could be from an altercation, Mrs. Lee. Disregard arrived back at the house. Sir, at least you should take her to the hospital. She's home already, okay? Thank you. It's okay, sweetie. Mary, honey, I'm gonna take you to the hospital, okay? No, you're not. She's safe. Vic. She's safe. She's here. Vic, she needs a physical exam. No. A free no. test. Yeah. Mary doesn't 
seem right since before she went missing, you know? Yeah. I can't sleep. I'm terrified. Listen, listen. The doctor said that she wasn't... She's okay. That physically she's okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you right now. If I found out who this man is, God help him. seriously quiet today. Usually you're so chatty and noisy, it's kind of hard to hear the music over you. <laughs> I'm not that loud. Oh, not today. So what's with the pancake makeup? What are you talking about? <laughs> Come on, you're wearing a ton of makeup. No, I'm not. Then why is your face so pale? <sighs> really? Your skin's shades lighter. When people go away on vacation, they usually come. Thank you. It's nice of you. No problem. Seemed like you got your hands full. Hey, you haven't heard about anything going on down by the lake, have you? No, I haven't. I've been pretty busy here, though, so... Uh, I just hear women blabbering is all. <laughs> Looks good. I got my favorite magazine. It's the little things. Have a great day. You too. Hey, there's my dancer. Hey, hold on a second. Come here. Try this. It's my fettuccine Alfredo. It's actually your mom's recipe, but I have perfected it. Did you eat? No. Huh. Are you okay? How was dance? I don't know. Not good. I'm not feeling right. Where's Mom and Sophia? They're at the mall. Sophia had a school project, you know, that involves glue, glitter, and poster board, you know. What, you want me to call her? You want to talk to your mom? <laughs> oh, speaking of which, where is your phone? I was calling you, I was texting you. I don't know. Yeah, we talked about this. I need to know where you are, honey. Now try this. Am I good? Dad? Yeah? Dad, I can't taste anything. Well, maybe it needs a little salt. No, I mean, it has no flavor at all. You said I like this? Yeah, yeah, you love it. You love all food. Now, is there anything else that's not right since we got back from the lake? Nothing's been right. I was having trouble dancing today, which for me is like having trouble breathing. And there was something in my room last night. What? What'd you see? A shadow? An animal? What's a thing? I don't know. Kind of look like a person. Wait, but you saw a person in your room? Yeah. I mean, no. It looked like a person. Almost like... Me, but different. Sweetheart, why don't you just come get me? I don't know, I just thought it was my imagination, you know? Dad, last night I dreamt about the lake. It was winter. Everything's covered in snow and the woods are so fresh and pretty that I keep thinking, 
I should be happy. It's daytime, the light is kind of fading. It's so weird because it's just snow. It's just snow in the lake, but it's terrifying. All I hear are my footsteps, nothing else. I should be happy, I keep thinking. This is beautiful, but there are no birds. It's daytime and no birds. Nothing else making noise but my footsteps. And then I realize why I'm so scared. I'm lost. I know it's the lake, but I think I'm so lost. I don't know where I am and I don't know how to get home. Honey, it'll be okay. I'm gonna go lie down. like Mary. What? I was sleeping, then she woke me up. She showed me in there and threw toys at me. It wasn't me. I would never hurt her. Does Sophia seem okay to you today? Yeah, I guess. Considering what she says happened to her last night. What did happen to that little girl? You told your father that you saw someone in your room too. Do you think that there is someone... Oh, God, I don't want to think about it. I don't know, Mom. Nothing like that's ever happened. <sighs> Jocelyn! How are you? I'm good. Come on. Thank you for looking after the cat and the birds, by the way. How was your spring break? It was okay. What's up? How are ya? I haven't heard from you. Your phone keeps going to voicemail. Oh, I don't know where it is. I probably lost it at the lake. I heard what happened. The tiny dancers have giant mouths. Heard you were all, uh, left feet with the leotard retards. It's going through the network, you know? Are you okay? I'm okay, I guess. It's been weird. It's for you and your sister. I had to hop for it. You said you were trying to get Sophia to read the classic fairy tales of Grimm Brothers, Barry, all that. That's a first edition Peter Pan and Wendy. My mom helped me find it and pay for it. Thought you needed some cheering up. Wow, you are so talkative. No, oh, Jocelyn. Thank you so much. And thanks, Jocelyn. I'm sorry. Last night was rough. Sophia had, um, had a nightmare. Well, listen, you can always Skype me when you're feeling blue. And when you come back to school, I'll help you get your grades up to, like, uh, C pluses or something. Just think, then you can really impress the dancing divas. Hey, girly. Let me know when you're ready for a makeover. I would love to buzz cut that hair. <laughs> Here, I'll Mary, I spoke with your parents. But I'd like you to tell me how you're feeling. And if you're up for it, tell me what you remember about the night you went missing on the lake. 
I feel numb. And I don't remember anything. What do you mean by numb? I don't know. I can't really explain it. Okay. Well, people feel all different things after an event like yours. An event? Let's call it an incident. It's hard for me to help you if you don't give me some information. I can't. I don't remember. What are your moods like? Are you sad or uneasy? Nervous? I don't know. I guess... sad? Maybe nervous? I don't know. I don't know! Do you feel agitated? Maybe. Yeah. What about sleeping? Do you have trouble sleeping? Do you wake up at all? I stare at the ceiling. I roll around a little until I fall asleep. And then I usually wake up. Because... Because... I think somebody's in my room. I mean, at least it feels like that. I guess it makes me nervous. I haven't been dancing, I don't see my friends, and school started back up, but I haven't gone. That's it. I'd like to prescribe a mild antidepressant. We'll start on a low dose and increase your dose as we continue to monitor how you respond to the medication. Beverly Weissman's card. She's a therapist that I believe could be helpful. I think Mary will like her. Isn't this why we see you? No, not really. Mary needs to see a therapist who can help her uncover her lost memories or at least figure out what's behind her mood disorder. So you can't explain to us what happened? Why Sophia and I saw what we saw? Mary was with her father. She wasn't even in the house. I'm a psychiatrist, Mrs. Solis. I specialize in mental health issues that require medication. I can't give you an explanation for something that you've described as the disembodied spirit of your daughter, who is very much alive. At a subconscious level, the power of suggestion can be a strong tool, but suggestibility is also responsible for muddled thinking, and much worse. When you're 15, Mrs. Solis, sometimes attention-getting behaviors can lead to self-defeating or even dangerous activity. Even the best kids can do devious things. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You know, my mom's a huge fan of your food blog. Oh. <laughs> she saw you on the food channel the other day and she was so excited. <laughs> Thank you. So, Sophia's sleeping. She was a little scared, but I sang to her and she went right out. You know, my family used to own a house on Ravenswood Lake, too. We sold it a couple years ago, but I have some pretty fond memories of it. But there were some kids that would throw parties and they would leave beer cans everywhere, and my mom really just didn't like <laughs> that. And there were some of the crazy people there, you know? Crazy people? Yeah, my mom didn't really like me talking to them much. 
And I was like 11, so I just did what she told me to do. <laughs> That's my mom, she's outside. I just want to help you. Then let me stop taking the medications. Why, honey? They're making me worse. Okay. Can you tell me what Sophia and I saw? Was it you? If you see me next time, maybe you should keep running. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, this is... What the hell is this? Oh, my God. What is this? Oh, my God. Oh, God. Gina, I don't know what the hell's going on. It's like someone beat me. What the hell's going on, honey? Someone did beat you. Hey, Vanilla Face. You're not even listening to me. I'm trying. Well, you're kind of freaking me out. It's like having a conversation with a zombie. And not the fun kind that eats babies. I can't help it. This is crashy. I keep feeling like I'm outside my body. I'm not angry or sad. I don't even care that I'm not dancing anymore. I mean, not dancing should make me feel like I have mad cow disease. <sighs> Let's table this discussion for later. Sure. Maybe we can talk about it later when I'm not trying to give myself diabetes. And when you're not slipping into a weirdly religious zombie coma. In the meantime, if you're gonna continue telling me stories about your dad getting the crap beat out of him in the middle of the night by an invisible entity and you seeing yourself outside of your body, I suggest you tell your super normal mom to stop seeing shrinks and check out maybe like a, a Wiccan or a shaman, okay? Those dudes, they're known for their supernatural abilities. See, you're doing it again. Stop zoning on me. I'm sorry, Joss, it's Sophia. She's in the doorway. One second. Out. Okay, I'll just, I'll read it to you later. Hey, Minnie Mary. Like, tune back in to channel Jocelyn. Ah! Hi. Hey. You're home early? Yeah. How are you? Your eyes okay? I'm okay. Larry took one look at my face and he told me to go home. His words were, you look like a dangler from a moose's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Mary told me that she wanted to stop the medications and I told her that it was okay. Listen, I don't know what's going on. I don't even know what happened. But if we're going to get through this, we have to stick together and trust each other as a family. You know that, right? I know. So when we get her off the antidepressants, which, by the way, haven't had a chance to really work, what's the plan? I'm working on it. Oh. I'm taking her to another therapist. I talked to her on the phone. She thought that hypnosis might be a good place to start. What do you think?
Your wife is with your youngest? Her name's Sophia. She's six. She really looks up to Mary. She's confused by everything. She's been having nightmares. She's very scared. We don't know about this stuff. But that Dr. Gargiulo made it out to be that we're like participating in some kind of delusion, like, as if Mary's making all this up. Let me ask you, why hasn't she remembered anything? Well, typically a victim remembers every detail. That's the problem, that they remember it and replay it over and over and can't move on. But everyone is different. Let's focus on what we can do to help Mary feel less vulnerable and, of course, help the whole family as well. Why don't you come over here? Mary, why don't you lie down? Are you comfortable? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Something for you to know, all hypnosis is self-hypnosis. I merely function as a guide to help you focus the power of your mind more efficiently. Does that make sense? Mary, you'll remember clearly everything that happens. Now let yourself go and relax your legs. Feel your hips relaxing. Breathe. Your entire body is relaxing. And as I continue to talk, that feeling will get stronger until it carries you to a deep, peaceful state. Let's count backwards from 100. 100. 99. 98. 97. 96. 95. 94. 93. Let's go back to the lake, Mary, when you were gone for a period of time. What are you doing? Taking pictures and videos. What do you see? It's pretty. I gotta text my mom. Did you text your mom? No. I have to, but I... I hear something. What do you hear? Mary, what do you hear? Laughing. I hear laughing. Laughing is nice. No, it's... It's eerie. It's... I dropped my phone. It's okay. They were laughing, but it stopped. Why did it stop? I'm counting and you're waking up. By the time I get to the count of five, you will be fully awake. One, you're waking up, Mary. Two, three, four, five. A shaman could help me with soul retrieval. I could get my life back. I could be happy again and not have to walk around feeling so lost. What is it? What, are you trying to find a diagnosis for Mary? I'm not trying to find a diagnosis. I am trying to find an answer. Come here. To realize Check that this what out. the doctors were saying about me was completely wrong. After the bus accident, I wasn't me. Even after I healed, even after I went to physical therapy. Loss of soul? What are we gonna take her to a priest now for an exorcism? A shaman, actually. I was researching and it made sense. She's got a bunch of these symptoms. Inability to feel a full range of emotions. Loss of memory. Come on, Vic. Something traumatized Mary so bad that her soul literally ripped itself from her body. Why right, well, would a soul do that? Preservation. Let's say that somebody witnessed something really horrible. Part of their soul might leave so they wouldn't have to endure the trauma. I don't know either, but if we don't help her, it'll be too late. What the hell do you mean? The longer the soul stays out of the body, it gets angrier, then more aggressive. Eventually, Mary will lose what's left of her soul, and we will lose her. Look at that picture. Snow White's in a glass coffin. And those seven little guys, 
are so sad. I like Peter Pan better anyway. Oh, I almost forgot. I have something you like. Peter Pan. Where did you get that? Jocelyn got it for me. But it's really old, so you have to be careful, okay? Do you want to read? You read. Start here. What, you don't want to start at the beginning? Mm-mm. Okay. Darling screamed, and as if to an answer to the bell, the door opened and Nana entered, returned from her evening out. She growled and sprang at the boy who leapt lightly through the window. Can we get a babysitter that's a dog? I am your babysitter, not ball. Again, Mrs. Darling screamed, this time in distress for him, for she thought he was killed and she ran down into the street to look for his little body. But it was not there. And she looked up and in the black night she could see nothing but what appeared to be a shooting star. She returned to the nursery and found Nana with something in her mouth which proved to be the boy's shadow. As he leapt out the window, Nana had closed it too quickly too late to catch him, but his shadow had not had time to get out. Slam went the window and snapped it off. Stop reading, Mary, please. Um, you may be sure Mrs. Darling examined the shadow carefully, but it was quite the ordinary kind. Nan had no doubt of what was the best thing to do with the shadow. She hung it out the window, meaning he is sure to come back for it. Let us put it there where you can easily get it without disturbing the children. Why just stop again? Are you going to go away again? Go away again? What do you mean, go away? Like when you're far away and a ghost thing hangs around. My ghost thing? Like that, the ghost thing that's supposed to be on you, but isn't. Maybe mom does sew it on you. Or I could try. I love you, Mary. I love you too, Sophia. <sighs> you make me feel you make me feel. Sophia! Come on, we have to go to karate. Hi, Tweeter. Hi, Woodstock. Hi, McFly. It's me, Sophia. I read in a book at school that you eat spiders, but I have a better treat. Shh, you can't tell. You drove two hours. Three hours. Three hours. Just to check on me? Yep. That's stupid. You're stupid. I still get better grades than you do. And when you stop calling and my texts go unreturned, what am I supposed to do? I told you I can't find my phone. My dad's supposed to get me a new one. So... When are you gonna leave? Right after you look at this. I put some of our old pictures on here, look at this one. I think this is about the age when we met. You were a hottie, and I was a shorty. <laughs> when you do find your cell phone, please delete the 5,000 messages I left you. It's pretty much all the same. I ran out of things to say after a while. Oh, one was like a three minute joke I got off of YouTube. <laughs> you should listen to that. It's, it's funny. Look at this one. It's still sitting in the frame in the living room. You were right, I did want to be an astronaut. What the hell is on my head? It is aluminum foil. She hasn't done that since the lake. Done what? Smile. A real smile. She hasn't done that since the lake. Mr. Solis, 
It's Solis. Oh, Mr. Solis, I'm uh, Detective Mark O'Hagan. I'd like to talk to you. Yeah, about what? Do you have any information as to who hurt my daughter? There are a few questions about what happened the night your daughter went missing. Fine, come on inside. We don't have any more information on what happened to Mary uh, that night. We have a few leads that we're following up, but there's a couple of things that I need to clear up about uh, what happened that night. Um, uh, two children, two little girls, age six and seven, drowned in the lake that night. Does your daughter know anything about those two little girls? No. She would have told us. Okay, what does this have to do with Mary? I'm just trying to figure out what happened to, uh, to the Bronson children that night, the night that you called the police reporting that your daughter was missing, your daughter who showed up claiming to have no memory. You know what? I'm, I'm going to go get Mary, okay? Thank you. He just answers questions, okay? Hi, Mary. I'm Detective Mark O'Hagan. I'm just gonna ask you a few questions, okay? I'm gonna use a tape recorder. Is that clear to you? Can I turn it on? Good. So, Mary, on April 17th, according to your statement, you were at Ravenswood Lake and your parents reported you missing at uh, approximately 6.30 p.m., and then at uh, 12.42 a.m., uh, you came home um, claiming to have no memory of what had happened to you. Is that, is that right? You, you're going to have to say uh, yes on the tape recorder. Yes, I'm saying yes. Good. Good. Do you know anything about the death of two little girls? It's okay, honey. Just answer, okay? No. Good. I'm just going to ask you a few more questions and then I'll be out of here, all right? Have you ever lost your memory before? Dad? Yeah, honey? You know I didn't do anything bad, don't you? Get some sleep, okay? Okay? Someone's gonna come in here and murder my daughter. I mean, how was anyone supposed to be safe in this house, huh? Huh? Did you hear someone breaking in, sir? Jesus. Was that window open tonight? No, no, listen. I didn't hear anything until I heard my daughter screaming. That window's usually closed because we don't have a screen for it. We have birds in here. So we're two stories out this window. No trees, nothing to climb, nothing going up or down. No way for anyone to come in or out this window. Look, whoever it was was already in my daughter's room, okay? Doesn't an alarm go off when someone goes into someone's house, doesn't it? Doesn't it? It did go off. Once you trip your house alarm, we have 45 seconds until it goes off. Wait a minute. 45 seconds? You see, someone came up here, ran into my daughter's room, tried to kill her, ran down the hall and escaped after the alarm goes off? That's what you're saying to me? That's exactly what I'm saying. Unless it's something else. Dad, please. What? Man? The window! <gasps> Does your daughter sleepwalk? What? Do you think your daughter's a danger to herself or to others? You need to leave now.
Trice! Where are you, girl? Trice! Have you seen the dog? I, I lost my dog. Oh, Trice. No. Trice. Yeah. Okay, don't worry, we'll find her. Trice! Hey, girl! Hey, girl! Trice! Don't you do that to me. Oh. What's your dog's name? Trice. It's a nautical term. Spent my better day sailing. Well, you ladies have a lovely day. Thanks for bringing this little one back to me. Can't go home to the missus without her. Right. Otherwise, I'd be in the dog. <laughs> Bye. Is he your father? Oh, no. I, I don't really know him. I think he lives on the next street over or something, but I, I don't know. That was interesting. Why? Oh, my name is Trice. <laughs> like the dog? Uh -huh. I'm sorry that didn't come out right, did it? It's just, you have a unique name. Mm. Hi, I'm Gina. Trice Harvey. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm, I'm staying with my sister-in-law. She lives through the woods. If you kept going that way, you'd be in her pool. The Delaney family. Oh, I know. Delaney. Her oh. son is in the first grade with my daughter. Oh. <laughs> See that? Here I am, just walking through the woods, searching for an answer from the universe. Mm -hmm. And I bump into you. Life is full of coincidences. I don't believe in coincidences. You don't? Why not? I believe things happen for a reason. Hmm. Huh. You know, when my husband and I bought this house, I thought it was great that we had all these woods. I thought I'd be out here all the time, just taking in nature. I never do. Today, I, I couldn't stand another moment in the house. So I came out here. What was the question? The question? You said you were looking for an answer from the universe. Mm. What was the question? <laughs> it's a long story. Try me. What do I do about my daughter? She was a beautiful, bright, cheerful, and then something happened. I don't know what, and she doesn't remember. Can I say something? And I don't mean to scare you. No, I don't think that I could be scared any more than I already am. Have you ever heard of loss of soul? Is this a joke? I knew I'd scare you. But if you'd let me explain. I was researching, trying to find an answer beyond just near depression, and I found soul loss. <laughs> I, you know, if I had met you like a week ago, <laughs> I would have thought you were crazy. It. Now I'm, I'm trying to, now I, I'm wondering if I'm crazy. You're not. Crazy. See? No coincidences.
Hey, Howard. I was just down at the lake uh, taking in the view, and uh, this little girl's shoe I found. Huh? She came back in? You tell her the coroner's office uh, determined it was uh, murder and two little girls were drowned? How'd she react to that? Oh. You showed her the photo of the teen? She recognized her. Very interesting. Well, here's what I'm thinking. She puts the two little girls to bed, reports them missing next morning. Sometime in the middle of the night, two little girls disappear. No struggle, no nothing. Poof, vanished, no broken glass. Same night, this teen goes missing, has no memory of what happened. No scratches all over her body. Here's the thing about patent leather, Howard. Even in water, fingerprints show up. If what she says is true, we should find somebody else's prints. Right? Yeah. shaman. Yes, I'm a healer. Shamanism is where the natural and the supernatural worlds connect. We cross over and come back with knowledge that can help those that are sick or need help. Well, that's why I'm here. I live in Ireland, but I come out to help Laura. She was getting worse. She's sick? Sorry. I thought you knew. Breast cancer. Oh. Well, she's been to the best doctors. First in Hartford and then Boston. She was doing good for a while, but it came back, so she asked me to come out and help. I never knew. She didn't tell me. I don't think she's telling anyone. She wears a wig most of the time. I'm so sorry. Oh, this is so strange. I've read about soul retrieval. Do you think that it will help, Mary? We have tried everything. Traditional medicine and psychological counseling, they only treat the symptoms. If she has loss of soul, yes, soul retrieval will work. Now what I do is locate, recover, and help reintegrate the lost parts of the soul. Gina. Soul retrieval has been practiced by shamans for thousands of years in different cultures all over the world. Look, take my number. If you need me, call me. I've seen her soul outside of her body. It's like it's angry lost. It's been everywhere in this house. It tries to hurt us. To see my daughter's soul outside of her body, it's like she's dying and there is nothing that I can do about it. Call me. Let me meet Mary. Let me help. You really want to eat chicken fingers again? Uh, yeah. But your mom made steak. It's really good. I'm going to eat it. I'm staying with chicken fingers. Believe me, we have tried eggs, beef, broccoli, even mashed potatoes. Everything's off the table with this kid. It's amazing. Mary. Sweetheart, are you hungry? I don't know. I guess. I'm going to get you guys some milk. Mmm, it's good. 
I saw you and Mary holding hands in the woods. You were gonna kiss her, weren't you? Sophia? When did this happen? I don't know. The nightmare was missing. Whoa, wait, no, I wasn't with Mary that night. We were walking in the woods the day before and nothing happened. I was at home that night. AJ, I think you better leave now. You better get on the road now before it gets too late, okay? You should eat. Looking forward to meeting you, Mary. Your mother told me a little bit about what was going on and asked me to help. How exactly are you going to help me? No one's been able to. I can't promise anything except to try. And what we're going to do here is something called soul retrieval. I'll take a journey to retrieve your soul. Here? In the living room? Well, yes. Mary, are you okay? Yeah, Mom. Where'd you get that? From the journey. I have to be honest. This is really... It's just strange and it's never happened to me before. I've never brought back an actual object from a journey. It's mine from when I was a little girl, Trice. She broke it. We threw it away a long time ago. I think it represents her soul. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Do you feel better? Or, or maybe different? I do. <sighs> but... But what? Something's still missing. You know? Still missing. some ice cream.
See, it's good. It's not one of yours? No, she's not. My room's been closed all day, but you never know. Greg, I got him. No, he's here. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. No, he probably came in in the night while we were sleeping. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure Mary just gave him the code to the alarm, you know? No, it's fine. He can stay. I'll make him breakfast. We're actually going out to the lake house tomorrow. Yeah, teenagers, I know. Okay, I'll talk to you later. How's Mary today? Ah, <sighs> she seems to be okay this morning. She's been with AJ most of the day, so I haven't really seen her much. I think she's better. It's just she's not completely herself. No, she she really isn't. I I am. I'm really nervous. This, this family needs to heal as much as she does. When I journeyed, I found several blocks and removed them. Being here should help Mary heal. Mm -hmm. When she retraces her steps, sees the lake, it should evoke something. Start bringing back some memories. <sighs> She's going to be okay. God, I hope so. It'll come. Thank you. You have helped our family so much. You know, I just, I, I keep trying to think of ways that I can, I can repay you. Oh, don't. I don't want you to have to worry about repaying me. It doesn't work that way with me. But I have a great life. I feel blessed. I feel like I should set up your website or do your marketing or something. <laughs> you know, if I wanted to hang out a shingle, I would. <laughs> Well, yeah, if you ever decide. You'll be the first to know, trust me. Oh, there was one thing I forgot to mention when I journeyed. Altered states of consciousness can be difficult. Some things are more difficult to interpret than others, but this one was pretty straightforward. There was a tombstone. It wasn't in a graveyard, it was just by itself. I looked at the name so I could talk to you about it in case it had some sort of meaning. I'm sorry, Mrs. Sobeys, but Mary won't get out of the car. Uh, what do you mean? Everything was fine. We we hung out, went out for pizza, started to go back to your house because Sophia wanted us all to do a puzzle. Then suddenly she looked at the lake, turned around and went to your car. She just wants to go home like now. Okay. She's okay in here. Sophia? Mary? Open the door, Mary! We can talk about this in the house. I will make you hot chocolate. What the hell is going on here? Come on. Mary. What? Yeah. Mary, you want to tell me why you're locked up you and your sister in a car like that? After everything that this family's been through, you know, that made me very, very uneasy, honey. I'm sorry, Sophia followed me. Anyway, I don't think it was that bad for her to be with me. I'll keep her safe. I wanted to be with her. Mary needs me. Why does your sister need you, honey? Because the man has the rest of her soul, and he doesn't know it. And I need to get it back for her. What man, honey? The man in the ground. I want to go home, Dad. I can't be here. I remembered. 
I remembered what happened that night. Something really bad happened here. <laughs> and I'm scared. But not for me. I don't want Sophia here. It's not safe for her. Mary, honey, tell us what you remembered. It's okay, honey. I was walking through the woods, taking pictures and videos. It was nice, you know? cell phone. You got it. Are you okay? I was never with Mary that night, Mr. Solis. Was I? Mary said you wanted to kiss her? No, I was telling the truth. I was with her the night before. But the night she went missing, she saw something really bad and caught it on video. Liz, it's all right, AJ. She remembered. She did? Yeah. You remembered, thank God. Well, there's the proof. I sent a copy to your phone just in case, Mr. Solis. You might want to send it to that detective who's investigating the two little girls' deaths. You should see all this. Well, not you, kiddo. I think we need to go play with stuffed animals or checkers, maybe. Come on. Please, do with AJ, okay? Anyway, it's all on there for you to see. I mean, there's no wonder Mary lost it. There are a lot of things you can call that woman, but I think evil sums it up. Come on, short kick, let's go play. You saw the video, you saw what I saw. Okay, that woman should be hung. Look, no, 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 no. She broke into my house because you guys gave her a photo. She knew who she was. She could have come in here and killed both my daughters. Yeah, I know my voice is elevated, all right? But I'm still here and she is out there and she is nuts. What? Wait, she told you, she went in there and told you that Mary did it? Yeah, yeah, you better send some people over. They're gonna arrest this, this step. Mary woman. left. I don't know where she went, and you have her phone. She's with AJ. No, AJ is in the kitchen with Sophia. He I'll never go, saw her. her. I'll go get no, her. I need to go get her. You stay here, okay? I have a horrible feeling. Mary! Mary! I don't see her anywhere. No, no. Calm. I'm gonna call you. Did you find her? No, no, Gina, listen to me. I want you to listen to me, okay? I want you to be very, very careful. The cops went over to Denver Bronson's house. She's not there. I need you and Trice to get back to the house where Sophia and AJ are. And I want you to go now, now! No, I can find her, Nick. Gina, no! Gina! She said that she was scared, so why would she leave? And where would she go? I know you're terrified, but she's processing, healing even. Is there anything about the soul retrieval that you remember? Anything? You said something about a, a, a tombstone or something. Yes, it was um, a new stone, and it had a man's name etched into it. Uh, Martin. Martin 
learned something. Martin Bertrand. Yes, that's it. Martin Bertrand. Who's Martin Gina? He's a friend. Uh, was there a date on it? Um, I just remember that he was old and that he died recently. In, in February, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Mm, that's impossible. Is he the man in the ground that Sophia keeps talking I about? I just saw Martin a couple days before Mary went missing. Gina! Godchild? Martin, what happened to you? Pneumonia is a funny thing. You go in with a cough, and you never come out. <laughs> Why didn't I know? This town's a funny place. People here, you know, sometimes uh, they don't know a good person from a bad, or who's a family member, even if they're not. They come and go, they act all nice. No one seems to really care. Hey, Mom! Sophia! What are you doing out here? C Sophia, come here to Mommy. It's okay, Mom. Oh, thank God. Are you all right? Wh what is Sophia doing out here? He didn't know he took it. Took what? Part of your soul. Uh, Sophia convinced me that she needed to help Mary get the rest of her soul back. Martin, he caught part of Mary's soul the night the girls were murdered. I, I don't understand. Can... Can he give it back to her? Sometimes it happens innocently. Martin's first reaction when he saw your soul, Mary, was to hold on to it. He loves you. What do you know? <laughs> I gotta go. I'm not a spring chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and have some fun. <laughs> what time are you picking me up tonight? <laughs> really? So if I have to get dressed up, does that mean you're wearing your heels? <laughs> All right, I have to go read Peter Pan. Again. <laughs> Okay, bye. All right, where were we? Chapter nine, The Neverbird. You never remember where we leave off in books. Okay then. Chapter nine, The Neverbird. The last sounds Peter heard before he was quite alone were the mermaids retiring one by one to their bedchambers under the sea. He was too far away to hear their door shut but every door in the coral caves where they live. Before he wrote Peter Pan, J.M. Barry wrote a novel called The Little White Bird. In the book, he says, the reason birds can fly and we can't is simply because they have perfect faith. For to have faith is to have wings. Although I'm content to let my soul reside, caged inside my body, my heart still flutters a little when I see birds taking to flight, soaring through the air like exuberant soulful creatures. Break 
straight on through I'm getting, getting near I am trying, trying here I just want to, I just want to Make things be clear with you So Take so long I just want to I just want to 